Well, hello there. Norman here from Noise Engineering. And I'm sure you're asking, Norman, why are we in your kitchen? Well, my friends, there's an easy answer for that. Welcome to Patch Pairing, our new series that pairs a cocktail with a patch. Hey, thanks a lot for hanging out with us today. And to start this series off, we're actually gonna be making the favorite drinks from the Noise Engineering team. And today we're going to be making Encore's favorite drink, the Mezcal Paloma. So Encore first had this drink at a restaurant in Rancho Cucamonga, California. He really enjoys the combination of the smokiness of the Mezcal with the tartness from the grapefruit. He recommends enjoying one next time you fire up your grill. You'll want to go ahead and make the honey simple syrup ahead of time so that it has time to cool. To do this, you're going to combine equal parts honey and water, start boiling it over medium heat while stirring it constantly, and then once the honey dissolves, you'll be good to go. Then just set that aside and let it cool. It can stay good in an airtight container in your refrigerator for about two weeks. So I've already done that for this today, so I've got that ready to go. Now one of the best parts about this recipe is that it only takes four steps. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start with our shaker. We'll add some ice. We're gonna add that one ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna add two ounces of mezcal. Simple syrup smells so good. And then we're going to do two ounces of grapefruit juice. Let that set for just a minute. And then we're going to take our chili salt. We'll put that down on a plate. Take our glass, we're just gonna go across the rim with a lime. And then we'll go through the salt mixture to get that nice and all along the rim. Add some ice to our glass. Then we'll take everything in the shaker, give it a quick shake. Pour that into our glass. And then we're just gonna top that off with some club soda. We'll garnish it with a grapefruit little sprig of mint and a lime. And there you have it, Mezcal Paloma. Mmm, that's delicious. All right, let's go to the studio and make a patch. For this patch, I wanna play off the spicy and sweetness of the Paloma. A pretty nasty yin and yang kind of thing. For the sweetness, I'm using the Manus of Teratas. I have it dialed in to sound pretty. If you want to know how to get these sounds out of the Manus, check out the Noise Cues videos that I have linked in the corner. Now for the spicy, I'm going to use the Ataraxic of Teratas. And for the smokiness, I'll use the Cursus of Teratas for a smooth bass line. For this patch, I'm going to be using the Hermod as our uh, main clock. And I'm going to malt this and go into the Mimetic Digitalis. I'm going to be using the MD for all of our CV sequencing today. I'm also going to clock both Fractio Solum so that I'm sure that these are in time and ready to go. From here, I'm going to 
start with Manus. So I'll run the from CV1 on the MD into the Manus. I'm going to be using a high pass filter to shape my sound today. I'm going to take the divide by two out of the first Fractiosolum and I'll run into the Pons Asinorum. This is what I'm going to be using as my envelope today. The nice thing about the PA is that since it's normaled, I can use just one trigger and get multiple envelopes out of it. So the first one will go to our filter and then the next one will actually be triggering the Manus. And then from here I'll go from the filter into the mixer and we'll bring in some audio. Bring up the gain just a little bit. And then now I'll take the CV sequence 2 out of the MD and go into the Ataraxica Teratos. And then from here I'm going to go into the Sync Bucina and I'm going to use this as my filter. And I'll just use the third envelope out. I'm going to be using the same trigger. So I'll use the third envelope out from the Pons Asinorum and go into the Sync Bucina. And then we'll just go audio out from the Sync Bucina into our mixer. And let's bring this audio in. And then I'll take the third CV output of the MD. And I'll go to the uh, Cursus Ateritas for this one to get our bass line started. For the bass line, I'm going to use a low pass filter to shape this a little bit. And I'm actually going to be using the trigger output from the MD. I'll use the Pons S Norm again for the envelope and then go into the 1 volt per octave in on our low pass filter. Filter out into the mixer and we'll bring this in. So we've got three voices going and starting to get somewhere. Now I'm going to add some reverb. I'm going to be using the send and return from the mixer. If you'd like to learn more about aux sends, you can check out our vlog video. And I've got that uh, pulled up in the corner here. There we go, adding some reverb, kind of adds the ambience for us. And now I'll do a kick drum, we'll do the divide by two on Fractio Solum number two, and we'll run that into our mixer. And next let's do hi-hats, we'll do the times two out of the Fractio Solum. Fractio Solum is great for percussion. You've got your four outputs, different division and multiplications. Pretty much percussion in a box. And now we'll take the just the normal out of Fractio Solum 1 and we'll use that for our snare. Now we're getting somewhere. and we'll put it through the Imitor Versio so we'll add some delay just to kind of spice it up a little bit and I'll run the stereo out from the Imitor Versio back into the mixer save this sequence and then I'm going to choose all three of them and just do a shred to get some randomization get some variation going
to clock the clip Diaz, get that in time, and I'm going to use this for some modulation on the Atarax of the Teratos. I'll run it into the soft fold. There we go. And go through and do another shred. And back to the original sequence. Take out the kick and hi hats. Shred. Bring it all back. Yeah. There we go, a spicy Mezcal Loma Jam.